going. <laughs> you're 22. Get out. I'm 27. I get your baby out of a box. Because you're idiots. Why would you do that? Why would you do this for Jordan? He's having fun. No, he's not having fun. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. He's not here. Look at her. Get out of the bar. Jamie, is that your name? No, it's not. Get your get out of the bar. You have a baby in a bar. She's filming you and I'm actually gonna call the police. They're bothering you. You're you're bothering them. They have children. Are you proud of them? You're proud. And the reason that you don't bring children to a bar is because there are crusty, stupid old women in there like that one that are going to get on you for no reason. She is the exact reason. She made the point. Now, I do agree a child shouldn't be in a bar, but it's because of you. It's because of people like you. You can mind your own business and shut your mouth. Are you talking to somebody? You're an idiot. Get the fuck out of the bar. You want to get smacked up or something? You must be insane. If I brought my kid into the bar, first of all, it's none of your business. Now, I wouldn't bring a kid to a bar, A. So they probably should leave. But don't turn around to me and say, you're an idiot, get out of the bar. Listen, you are a couple years from turning into sand. If I slap you, you might melt. So mind your own business, continue drowning yourself in alcohol and then fuck off home. Don't talk to people like that. I would have been on someone's side if the conversation was, don't bring your kids to bars. That's fine. I can get on board with that. Don't bring your kids to clubs. Don't bring your kids to Moulin Rouge, all that bullshit. But... If you turn around to me and start talking to me like that, conversation's over. Me and you are going outside. I don't care if you're a dusty old lady. You ain't talking to me like that. Mind your own business. Continue drowning your sorrows in your alcohol. The woman uh, shouting at them is, you know, she's in the wrong. To, there was no need to start talking to people like that. There was no need to involve herself correct. She could have just minded her business. Um, however... You know, she's she's wrong here in that situation. However, I agree with everything she was saying. Why have you got your baby in a bar? A baby does not need to be in a bar at all. Why is it that deep that you can't not take your baby to the bar? Why would you that desperate to get in there in the first place? Secondly, going to a bar where people go to drink alcohol, you are putting yourself and your child at risk of being around drunk people as such. So stuff like this is anticipated to happen because you're in a place where some people behave aggressively when they're drunk, some people act out of line, anything could have happened. A fight could have broken out between two people in the bar, your kid's there exposed to that, someone could have got bottled. This stuff happens in bars. Why is your baby in a bar? I don't agree with it. I think it's absolutely wrong. Yes, the woman shouldn't have spoke to them the way she didn't approach them, but I stand by what she's saying. Why is your kid in the bar for? Yeah, the kid, the kid shouldn't be in the bar, but I think the point, the, the woman was trying to come across holier than thou, but without realising that she is the reason that you don't bring kids to bars. It's not just her, though. You just don't bring kids to a bar in general. It's an adult place where adults go to drink. Why is the kid there? No, I understand that, but in the context of the video, the woman's there screaming at her. First of all, I am not going to turn around to somebody in a bar and be like, get the fuck out, your kid shouldn't be no, here. You would None of my business. If you want to bring your kid to a bar like an idiot, by all means, go ahead. But the woman in the video is an imbecile. You can't talk to people like that. Like, luckily for her, the girls didn't retaliate, but I was getting wound up watching that. But she's under the influence and some people do go like that when they have a drink and it should be anticipated going into a place where people are going to be under the influence. I don't think that she was just under the influence. I think she was on drugs as well. Okay. You, get, you have a couple of sips of drink and yep. suddenly you want to start on people like some that. Some people are like that though. Have you not got any friends or people that you know in your life who get really aggressive when they're drunk? That's why I don't like being around drunk people because you just don't know how they're going to react. And, and I hate aggressive drunks they're the worst type of drunk i'd rather have that annoying sloppy person throwing up everywhere difficult to get home than the aggressive drunk that's the worst kind of drunk you can have yeah no aggressive drunks are annoying uh but and i agree taking your kid to a bar is not the right move uh, i did see some people saying that there's certain bars you can take kids to and but I was what's, like, what's what bar? The need? As a parent, though, why do you even want to bring your child into the bar? Yeah. 
it, you shouldn't be taking you know what I mean like if it's like a a pub where there's like a restaurant where you can go and eat dinner as a family cool I have no issue with that but an actual just that looked like a normal just drinking bar mm. sports bar yeah no absolutely not would I ever put my kid in that sort of situation or even try and expose them to that kind of stuff yeah it's outrageous it's not even just violence like people are getting merry in bars you know guys and girls are getting frisky yeah. people are getting loud it's not it's not a safe environment for children it's someone could not. throw alcohol and it gets on the kids but that woman the my problem with this video is that she was trying to make the point that bars are not places for children mm. and she, she made the point perfectly it's because of people like you that ch yeah, children should be nowhere near bars because know, of drunks like you the way i look at it yeah is we both disagree that that kid should not have been in that bar yeah this woman has obviously said something because she's under the influence. She's hyped up. Maybe the kid's screaming was doing her head in and she's taking it out on them, yeah? Granted, she shouldn't have involved herself, but maybe she's reacted like that because she's just as, as annoyed about it as, as, as we probably are right now of you shouldn't be bringing your kid to the bar. And she's just spoken up about it because she's had a drink and she's feeling a bit more confident. See what I'm saying? Well, I mean, uh, listen, you can make excuses for anyone. I'm not saying that you are, but the fact of the matter is, is that she looks like a 50-year-old woman. Mm. She turned around and in her 50 years of experience, because that clearly wasn't her first drink. Mm. That wasn't her first time in that bar, any other yeah. bar. You could see it on her face. She has experience with talking to people in bars and she thought it was a good idea to turn around to strangers and talk to them like that. Now, I might go to a bar to hang out with my friends and someone brings their kid in and they're screaming and crying. Yeah, it's annoying. And I might even say something and be like, yo, this is a bar. Can, like, I personally can, can wouldn't we... say something and involve myself. I'm, I probably won't, but I can see you getting really agitated and being like, can, like why? Or I, in my instance, actually, I'll probably just say to my boys, let's go to another bar. But even if you did turn around, is that how you talk to somebody? No, I'm it's not, not moving now. If I was the irresponsible parent with the kid in the bar and you just spoke to me like that, now everybody's listening to the crying. We're not going anywhere. Are you talking yeah, but what to you're put you're doing there is you're putting your kid in more harm's way because you don't know how somebody else might react. You're you're an adult. You've got to be responsible. That's fair. And if that means walking away, you need to walk away. That's fair. I'll take the kid home and drive back. We can have the <laughs> conversation. You ain't talking to me like that and getting away with it. I'll be back. Don't worry. You know what though? What What's your opinion on if that woman wasn't drunk and she was completely sober? Would you what? still... And she just turned around and said... And started s saying all that stuff to them. That's even worse. You're not even under the influence of something and you had the goal to turn around to me and start effing and blinding. Mm. Are you insane? It's like people don't understand that anyone around them could be any level of crazy. And that woman is the same woman where if someone... And I'm not saying that someone should, but if someone turned around and just gave her one in the face, she'd be surprised. Like, she doesn't know how reality works. You can't talk to strangers like that <laughs> in an environment where there's alcohol as well. Are you stupid or something? That's somebody that has never been smacked in the face before or has never had the threat of violence. Because when you have the threat of violence, you know, in, like I've, I've done stupid things before and I've been checked by certain guys. And now that I've grown up and I understand how things work, I can assess situations and be like, Do you know what? I don't want to go home with a puncture today. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut here. And it's not about whether you know how to fight or not. It's just that, if you've been in situations where you've been hit before, you've been hit around the face or you've been jumped, then you understand the threat of violence. Someone yeah. like her speaking like that doesn't understand. I it. don't know. I'll be honest with you. My take on that is, A, she looks like someone who's scrapped loads of times. She looks like she gets in them occasionally. Nah. With that kind of attitude, she probably does as well. Number nah. two, sometimes when people are drunk or under the influence of other stuff, they have this confidence that comes out of anywhere and they're willing to just fight anyone and um number three i forgot what number three was but i i reckon that woman maybe she felt like because they were young girls that she didn't feel intimidated by them as well so she was running her mouth i don't know well i mean if that's the mentality you have just forget that they may be young mums you know in their early 20s and young mums in early 20s B2, w. oh were they 27 yeah Okay, well, if they could be tw they could be whatever age. They should if they're that. young mums, then the likelihood is that they have partners, right? Not always. If you've got a kid, 
Not well, always. Not always. I so said the likelihood is that... The likelihood's they're more than likely they're still single. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, we're going to go with the narrative. Oh, there's a man in their life. Whether it's dads, whether um, it's boyfriends. Why are you covering your face? Because I don't want you including that in here. Oh. Well, I'm going to go with they may have partners. If you talk shit to, to a woman on the road, you need to be aware that her husband or boyfriend could come around the corner and give you one around the head. So if you're confident because they're young girls or uh, late 20s girls or whatever, then again, reality will smack you in the face. It's like people just don't understand. Like if I'm talking shit to somebody on the road... I'm, I already know I'm not just talking shit to this person. If I do something to this person, this person likely has people in their life. If they've got 10 people in their life, what's the chances that one's crazy? Just one of them. Now I've got to deal with all this bullshit. This is why I mind my own business.